what's going on. We're throwing shit around. Reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. be my new escort. Right there. And That's Marcus Stuyvesant, Providence Trust partner, self-entitled and arrogant little you woman. Have your credentials on you? He might not look like much, but he's done more damage to the world than you could dream. Okay, let's see here. Well, you have been around the world. Mumbai, Italy, France, Japan, this is a very impressive CV. I think you'll do. Okay, walk with me. I need to go through some ground rules. I expect you to be by my side 24-7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed 
but your eyes wide open. Understood? Huh. Your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. But with a knife? No. That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you're good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail. To do Thank with you all for your that power. Take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. But let's get to work. Some things you should know about me, and this is very much on a need-to-know basis. I am here incognito. So I want you to stay close. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Sorry, man. Can't let you through. Sir, I would advise you to listen to him.
Hi there, sir. Hey, how are you? Um, you are right in my personal space right now. Now go away and binge eat some celery or whatever it is like you do. Or do something worse than like you do. Okay, 
Back to do my... Yeah. Yes. Looking good. Hey, how are you? Excuse me, you're not allowed here, you know. This is just standard procedure. All right, good job, sir. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Let the pros do their job. Please. Hi there. Go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you. Hello, sir.
please, make yourself comfortable. Get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good, and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass balls billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. Please don't talk to me. I was wondering if you could help me. And I promise there is something in it for you as well. I'm just curious. Do you know who the Royal Highness's guests are upstairs? I have info that there are two with very cryptic names. I'm going to ask you politely to move along. I don't appreciate your line of questioning. Okay, thanks. Upstairs, that is the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali's private penthouse. Am I correct? I heard rumors he has some guests of some significance. Now, I understand you probably signed an NDA, but I may be able to make up for it with cold cash. Sorry, I have no idea. You should talk to security. I just work down here. All right, thanks for your help. This stinks of something.
Good afternoon. This is quite the ceremony. I was thinking, upstairs, as I understand, it's the Royal Highness's private penthouse. Hello, sir. Find a bin, mate, please. Thank you. All right. This stinks of something. Oh. Hello? Is anyone there? Who made that sound? Hello and hi to you. I was wondering if you could help me. And I promise there is something in it for you as well. I'm just curious. Do you... Mr. Look, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. I'm sure we passed plenty of places where we could talk. I hope it's worth it. No, this doesn't feel right. You must be working for the Sheik or something. I don't know. My gut says walk away, and that's what I'm doing. Bye. Hands looked. I hear you're asking about. Some guests. Let's talk somewhere more private. What? You do? Great. Lead the way. source that the Royal Highness Omar Al-Ghazali is keeping a secret upstairs. You don't talk much, do you?
Bigfoot morons that you've taken so many precautions. I'm curious though, how do you know my name? I haven't told anyone who I was. How are you today, sir? Well, I guess only time will tell. Getting a bad feeling here. Where are you taking me? I'm sure we passed plenty of places where we could talk. I hope it's Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Hello there, sir. Just keep calm. You're going. Definitely not through here. Get out of my face. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture. Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Mr. Kazim, please. Follow me. And how are you today, sir? I hope you have had time to see the art exhibition. His Royal Highness has a keen eye for the arts. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend it. This way, Mr. Kazim. I think that's total BS. So you're saying the Medici's would just polluted generations of talent that would flourish more without them. You're out of your mind. No, I'm, not, I'm not suggesting a revolution, but people should consider these things. Mr. Ingram is expecting you.
Mr. Cassine, so good to see you. You have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. Huh. Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazin. Perfect. We have Ingram have right thought. where we want him. Excuse me for a second. 47, you know what to do. Have a drink, see the view. It's something to behold. Sorry about that. Now, where were we? Now, I know. My man here will stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, maybe not. I usually have my people talk to people like you. I can imagine. I don't know how much Omar, I mean, the Royal Highness, has told you. But my guess is very little, so let me get straight to the point. My organization has been hit by an unpleasant cancer that can only be removed by cutting it out of the gut. If you get my drift. Yes, I do. Good. This little turd is spreading his vile, toxic cells, and I want him stopped. Brutally. Chemo won't remove him. Only the knife. I have his file here. Arthur Edwards. A sly little devil, if there ever was one. Me and my associates, well, we underestimated the little worm. We want revenge. I think you and I share a common interest. I doubt that, but I want you to make him suffer. This is not a horse that needs to be put out of its misery. This is a rabid dog that needs to be put down. Am I making myself clear, Mr. Kazim? Yes, consider it done. Good, we're now in business. We are. I'll have Miss Toe send you anything you need. We're done here. Oh, uh, one last question. I'm just curious. You're nicknamed the Vulture. Why? I find it's best to wait for the perfect kill. I think you'll be perfect for the job. Nice to meet you, Mr. Kazim. I look forward to receiving an update. Safe hunting. Guard. Yes, Mr. Ingram? Please show Mr. Kazim out. Yes, sir. Mr. Kazim, please follow me. Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. But I like listening to the radio. Our Royal Highness has never complained about it before. I'm sorry, but Mr. Ingram, who is the Royal Highness's guest, has requested no noise of any kind. Okay, but it means I'll work. So, it's our 
duty to I don't see keep the world in check to station to up here and below. make sure and the engine runs smoothly and uh, not stars. dissolve into anarchy. Lockdown. Now, that might sound harsh, but well, it is our fundamental time. belief that, uh, that the masses must, the must be well. guided as they are incapable of guiding themselves. However, these ideals could be missed. Interpret it as <laughs> some form of dictatorship and <laughs> Stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have the choice of the matter. I need help! Get behind me and save me again! Regroup! Shit! What was that? We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. How you doing?
like listening to the radio. Our Royal Highness has never complained about it before. I'm sorry, but... Mr. Ingram, who is the Royal Highness's guest, has requested no noise of any kind. Okay, but it means I'll work... Slower. I don't care what tempo you work. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Now he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do.
Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor, the Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now. The target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, Jim. Private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. A famous private investigator.
hell that was. Sure thing. Good job. Man. What was that noise? Yes. Thumbs up, mate. Ah, 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 ah. 